Hi, welcome to the small shed. This weekend we're back with videos being influenced by model railways. See you in a minute. Now the next two or three videos are not necessarily directly model railway related, but they are peripheral too. Um, there is a visit to a, a, a little gathering tomorrow that uh, is definitely model railway related <clears throat> and there are a couple of projects today and probably next Friday that are um, things that have been connected with model railways and not necessarily actually model railway things themselves structures and or requirements that I've got for, for modelling. So we'll start today with a, a look at a problem that we've got over at the Leamington Club for those of us who are getting older and fatter. Um, so we'll have a quick look and see what, what the problem is over there. Now as you can probably see we're um, model railwaying at the moment and today's project is in essence to do with model railways although not these. I'll just clear these out of the way and we can have a chat about what we're doing. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm a member of a club over in Warwickshire that have a large exhibition model railway layout, which is essentially um, two rows of I think there are six four-foot boards. yes not very really even but they are even and behind that there is um, a large area which is an engine shed with a turntable and there is some scenery there <coughs> and we have a series of boards around the end making it into a big loop like that. <coughs> I don't know if you can see particularly well but that's the idea anyway. And the segments, there are five segments on the ends. So the whole thing is 40 foot long, <coughs> 16 foot wide and it's basically operated both from inside and outside. Now one of the problems that we're finding is that none of us are getting any younger and it's not getting any easier to get in and out of the middle and at the moment the only way through is to go underneath the layout and these boards are <coughs> probably a bit higher than this worktop height they're about probably about a meter high. Now there are several ways to go about sorting that uh, which we've been exploring over the last few weeks. Um, one of my favourite ones because it was least intrusive was that in fact you're not far off being able to move a quadrant like that or, or a fifth segment of a circle out like that and it would hinge round without too much work on the inside edge just to clear. <coughs> we did, did the maths and it, it came out quite good but unfortunately we have a back wall that we're constrained by in the club room so we can't really do much with that. There is scenery basically from about there round to about there so really it's got to be in this back section and that's where what we call a fiddle yard it's basically six rows of track where we put stock on and take it off and again it will be useful to be able to walk through with the stock instead of having to push great big boxes underneath the railway layout so that's the the aim is to come up with a solution to finding this effectively like a hinging flap and there are a couple of constraints on that Firstly we want to retain as much of the original straight layout as we can on the back because that dictates how much, how long your fiddle yard that you can use is. Uh, it's no good having a flap that lifts up if you've got a train on top of it and similarly it's no good having something that takes up a sixth of the, um, the length available. 
so we're looking at a four foot section of board and I've got to try and come up with some sort of a solution to get a hinging mechanism working on that and it needs to be reasonably precise so I've already been having some thoughts and had chats with them about what might be useful and I've introduced them to our old friend the 4040 aluminium <coughs> and indeed 4080 aluminium so I, because we need to get access and, and I would like to retain wheelchair axis or get wheelchair axis if we can so using this stuff we can keep the height at the bottom effectively I want to make a U shape in aluminium that will have board on one side board on the other with a hinging flap on top so that's where I'm trying to sort stuff out today and I need to go over tonight or tomorrow night tomorrow night I think it will be and have a chat with people and, and sort of talk them around to where I'm coming from with it and see if they think that's a viable way forward the trouble with anything that we make out of timber is that it moves and it's got to effectively work perfectly because otherwise you have stock falling off and crashes happening and all sorts so I'm hoping that the aluminium will be the solution in that it's more stable and it's certainly stronger and what I'm thinking of doing and I just need to spend a bit of time working on this one now is to have <coughs> almost like an exoskeleton built next door to the railway layout boards that will have a gap of about two foot we need to we need to retain that wheelchair access which may even be up to 900 mil wide I don't know but the, the layout can carry on over it and then that'll go up on that side as well and then we've got to have a hinging piece and I'm thinking that if I can get one of these working either side and hinge the aluminium the board in the middle will just follow suit and similarly when it comes to shutting itself down um, it's not too much of a problem to make that more or less an engineering fit so <coughs> that's where I'm coming from I just want to do a little bit of preparation work first today to get the bits sorted to, to demonstrate how the hinging would work so I need to attach that to one of the rails bolt it through then I'll cut it afterwards and then we'll see how accurately that works um, I want to sort out a, a means of leveling the feet because we will need to level this thing up and um, I want to put some ideas on how we maintain some sort of a wheelchair type access uh, and then tonight we will go over to the club have a chat with them about it which is an ongoing thing this has been discussions that have been held for a long while a couple of months or more now but more importantly I want to actually measure the boards properly measure the layout height measure everything else and then start and work on a a real plan rather than a collection of bits that are giving an idea of what we want to do so that's the, uh, the plan for today now I've got a couple of things to try one of which I've only used on wood and one of which I've never used I got some center bits these I've got a sliding collar that fits exactly inside whatever it is that you're trying to drill a hole in and then you drill and that will go through and give you your actual center point rather than taking a guess at where it will drill so I'm going to start with that and um, at least mark the first one of these it's very easy with this sort of thing to get these things uh, off center and then I've got some drills which tap as well as drill they just turn the first part is a drill the second part is a, a tapering tap that 
seems to have worked. What that should do now, hopefully, clean the rubbish out. This mean I can just drive that in there. That's great. And then I can square that up and do the other three and know that at least everything I've got there is square and works well together. So that's got my mock-up probably a bit further advanced than I thought I would actually um, using bits of scrap that I've got really rather than anything else. I don't want to spend a lot of money on stuff if we then find there's a problem. But at the same time this sort of thing is useful to be able to realise that you've got to have certain clearances in certain places. Um, the base will be the just the screwed in feet like that that will have threaded through and a, a screw head on the top of that so that can be wound up and down so that's fair enough um, but the structure itself will be probably the 8 on 80 by 40 on that vertical there um, to give a bit more support at the moment it's a bit whippy but that's because I'm using the little joiners rather than bolting through into the core this is essentially a mock-up but that will be really like that a really solid piece that will bolt to the adjacent railway layout board and then the existing boards that we have we'll have probably have to make a new one but it will be essentially exactly the same and it will be there like that and then that will come up like that so that, in, in essence, is what I want to show how we're going to do, or propose what we're going to do anyway. Um, one of those frames on either side. That should leave us, I would hope, an opening that we can adjust, but I would hope to be um, 900 if that's what we need for wheelchair access. I don't know. But that doesn't mean that that can't be... 900 wide but narrower here because the wheelchair will be coming underneath and one would hope that people could get through as long as we leave enough room I think we were talking about two feet for the actual board itself so we can minimize the length of the lifting section but maximize the way through and that essentially in this instance is just effectively a matter of moving this rail further across. You can just see if we can do that just to demonstrate because uh, there's enough strength in this material to be able to move pretty well as far as we want to and it will still I think remain rigid but essentially you see we can make that opening three foot wide although at head height it will only be two foot wide and there'll still be a, a square section there that's strong enough to hold everything together. I'll go along to the club tomorrow I'll give you a bit of gratuitous shots of the layout as, as well just as a, a sort of a taster of what what we're doing and um, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you. 
Exactly go down, but very. We need to look at it significantly, does it? No, right. let's let's assume it's all right. Right, so I went over last night and uh, did all my measuring. I can now go away and think a bit more, plan a bit more, as is my wont, and hopefully we can come up with a solution to this, this issue that will be accurate and, and sort of precision, because unfortunately it only needs a millimetre or two out with something closing and it'll derail the train so it, it's got to be um, something that's going to work carry on with that and catch up with it some point in the future when we've uh, hopefully got a bit further on with it hope it was of interest look forward to seeing you next week we'll be doing something different and i'll look forward to seeing you then bye